Hello everybody and welcome to this macroeconomic video on how exchange rates impact on the government's macroeconomic objectives and aims. So by the government's macroeconomic aims we are referring to economic growth, inflation, employment and the balance of payments or the current account position. So firstly we need to look at how the exchange rate affects aggregate demand. So as discussed in the exchange rates video, if there is a strong exchange rate, then there are less exports, but more imports. And this means that aggregate demand will decrease. And this is because in our bracketed section of our aggregate demand formula, we obviously have exports minus imports. So let's say originally our exports were at 10 and our imports were at three. So therefore the overall number we get from those brackets is seven. But now let's say our exchange rate increases in strength, it appreciates. So therefore exports will fall, but imports will rise. So now our export number is seven and our import number is five. So therefore now the overall number we're getting from that bracketed part of the formula is two. So therefore we've experienced a fall in that bracketed section from seven to two. So therefore, overall, that number decreases. So therefore, aggregate demand will decrease. However, if there is a weak exchange rate, as explained in the exchange rate video, there will be more exports and less imports. So let's say that this time our original export number was 15 and our original import number was 12. So therefore, the over overall number we're getting from those brackets is three. But now, our exchange rate depreciates, it becomes weaker. So therefore exports will rise and imports will fall. So now our new export number has gone up to 17 and our new import number has fallen to 10. So therefore now the overall number we're getting from those brackets is seven. It's gone up by four from three to seven. So therefore that means that number, that part of our aggregate demand formula has increased. So therefore aggregate demand will increase. So, how does our exchange rate actually impact on those economic aims then? So if we have a strong exchange rate, as I just explained, there'll be lower aggregate demand. And this means that our aggregate demand curve will shift left. And due to this, our equilibrium, our equilibrium price decreases from P1 to P2. So the price level has fallen. So that means there's lower inflation because the price level isn't rising and inflation is a sustained rise in price. So therefore, as the price level has fallen, there is lower inflation. Also though, because of an exchange rate and aggregate demand falling, output has decreased from Q1 to Q2 along our x-axis. So therefore, this means that because of this exchange rate, this strong exchange rate, there is lower economic growth because productivity and output levels are falling. However, if there is lower economic growth, so lower production, that means there is a lower demand for labor. That means firms aren't selling as much, so therefore they're not making as much profit, so they can't invest as much in human capital. So overall, because of this low demand for labor and this low investment in human capital, then unemployment will increase. So therefore, a strong exchange rate, means, which means lower economic growth, will result in higher unemployment. And finally, one more negative implication of a strong exchange rate as we've already said, when there's a strong exchange rate, there are high imports and low exports. So that means we've got lots of money leaving the country, leaving the national circular flow of income through imports, and not much entering the national circular flow of income through exports. So therefore, our inputs into our current account are less than our outputs from the current account. So therefore, we have a current account deficit. We've got more money going out than coming in. So obviously, this is bad. And the final point I've put there is vice versa. So everything is the exact opposite way round if there was a weak exchange rate. So I'd advise that you watch the video again and change everything from strong to weak and change everything from low to high and things like that. So change everything so it's the opposite way round.